action. Hey everyone, it's uh, 5.41 p.m. on Thursday, September 23rd, 2021. And right here is a white and polished brass 52-inch winnower cast like a Saturn knockoff. And uh, as you can see with the uh, side band right there, it looks exactly like that of a uh, cast like a Spirit of Saturn. And um, it has a somewhat unique canopy. It's a flush mount, but as opposed to like um, air cool and palm air, the screws bolt in on the side rather than the, the top. It's kind of hard to find a replacement for it, though. I don't know if that's what the, uh, whether the Gulf Coast fans have spares for, but I might pick up some of those just for the heck of it. And uh, as you can see, it's got the uh, builder vents, but it's far superior to any typical builder fan. And it's got high gloss white blazer, a little bit yellowed was manufactured in 1988 and I got it on Facebook Marketplace last May didn't have to drive far to get it but it was out in the out in the booty so it was a little bit tricky you know like narrow roads covered bridges whatnot but anyways let's uh shed a little light on the situation now I only have a incandescent bulb in the thing there you can see I thought about swapping out an LED bulb or CFL but I think yes yeah, it's more testing it here I'm just gonna leave it as is Let's see that now that's the uh, kind of like it you find on a cast blank spirit of Saturn but they don't have the full chains coming down because that model was strictly until I touch I think comfort touch not mistaken it has a halogen kind of light on it this is just regular which is Awesome. You can see, I have a better look at the side band there. And uh, Newtone copied that with their Elegance model. I may eventually put up in this room, but let's have a look at the blades. High gloss white on both sides and their pointed tip. And I do have an air cool version of this fan. It's very, very similar. Some of you might remember it. I had a three arm mesh like hit on it I still have it I'm not getting part with that one that one's a rare breed and it is reversible I can show you the let me switch now it's gonna go right there see that Now you probably might think, oh, it's blasphemous that I took down a hundred original that I've had here. And for like for like the past year, I've had hundred originals of some form or another in this room. And I was testing them there and I kind of liked it. But National Ceiling Fan Day came around and I tried to hang an all white hunter original, but it just wasn't running up to par. It didn't run on all three speeds, and I just couldn't have that. Plus it was you know, dirty for being hung in a kitchen. I really couldn't be more clean than I really was willing to put the time and effort into. So, anyways, down it went. I was rolling it up for like 15 minutes, but I thought, you know what? I always wanted to use this room to test fans anyway. More diversity, more diverse ones. So, there you have it. And let's rev this one up first on low. One of the blades is a little bit warped, that's okay. I think Winnowers were, were sold at like department stores. In fact, I'm pretty certain they were. Like, there was a store called Kaufman's, which later evolved into Macy's in the uh, Fort Student Mall that I grew up f frequenting. And on like the second floor, like where the house was, they had a mini ceiling fan display, but they were like in, had individual spots, not like the 
hanging cloud, like last board, not like what Sears had, but they were like way, way up. They had like long pull chains. I mean, a uh, string you could with the price tag on. But they did away with that and then, like, definitely by the mid 90s. They went to Macy's and now they're no more, so that's the end of that story. Okay, medium. Start to feel a little bit of an airflow on the medium. And let's try it on high, shall we? It's not that bad, but it definitely doesn't have the airflow that Hunt Original has. I know this is like apples to oranges, but you know. It does have like a slight shake to it, but that's only if you're looking for it. Nothing like significant. It's not like it's bobbing all over the place. I'm going to work on fans in this room and I test fans in this room. So now time for spin down. Bearings are good on this fan too. I mean... I think some of the other collectors had the winnower of this style. I don't know. I don't know if it's Daniel Groundwater or not, but whoever sees it, sees this video would probably know for sure. Winnowers are kind of hit and miss with me. I mean, some have good quality, others have okay quality. It definitely doesn't move as much as like a Palm Air Hugger Deluxe. So I'm going to test out here when I get around to it. This is a rather rare fan, even though it's a direct drive motor as opposed to a stack motor that the Casablanca version of this has. I'm eventually going to I can tell it dedicate this room to until I touch Casablanca fans. So there you have it, folks. The uh, Winnower Casablanca Saturn knockoff from 1988. This concludes our broadcast day. Thank you for watching. More to come.